All right, so now when referring to um, the surface area of a pyramid, uh, we, we say that it's a half, half the, the area. And the reason it's half is because if you think about the surface area of a prism, uh, we would have rectangles. So if I had, you know, a rectangular prism, uh, my faces are going to be rectangles. And now in a pyramid, my faces are triangles. Well, in order to find the area of a triangle, we do area equals one-half times base times height. So it makes sense that we need to do half of the perimeter times the lateral height. This cursive L stands for the slant height, uh, or the, this, this slant height here. We call it an altitude of the triangle also. So our formula here can be found using this. Uh, we have surface area equals one half times perimeter of the base times the slant height plus the area of the base. Now notice we're not multiplying by two anymore because we don't have two bases. A pyramid only has one base. All right, so it says find the lateral and total surface areas of the triangular pyramids. So we'll just go ahead and start to find the total surface area. Um, so we need to find the perimeter. So we'll do one half of the perimeter times slant height plus the area of the base. Notice again, we only have one base. So surface area is going to be half, and let's do the perimeter. I see that we have a 5 here. This is also a 5, and this is a 5. So we have an equilateral triangle. So I can go ahead and just go ahead and say 15. We add those. Now the slant height is 8. Okay, this is a slant height right here, plus the area of the base. Now, the base is a triangle in this case, so we have to do one-half times, um, but actually here, it actually tells us the area of the base. So that, that kind of makes it a little bit easier for us. So we're just going to say plus 10.8. All right, so now we go ahead and... Uh, type this stuff in. If you wanted to, you could just take half of 8, which is 4. 4 times 15 is 60. So, you know, you may not need calculators for all this. So we have 60 plus 10.8 and so our surface area is going to be 70.8 inches squared. Okay? So that would be um, the surface area, total surface area of the triangular pyramid. So toys, a toy block has the shape of a regular pyramid with a square base. So the manufacturer wants to paint the lateral surface green. How many square centimeters will be painted green? So they just want the lateral surface area. We don't need to worry about the, the area of the base. So we're just going to do surface area. Uh, it's going to be our, our perimeter times our lateral height. And that's it. So surface area is going to be, and we know it's a square, so we can do... Uh, we can do 4 times 7, or just 28. Um, also, I forgot, we need to have 1 half, because these are triangles, right? So we have half. So 4 times 7, and then we're going to do the lateral height, which is 8. So again, um, you're doing a half of something. So take half of one of your even numbers. So half of 4 is 2, okay? And then we have um, 7 times 8 is 56, and 2 times 56 would be 112. So we have 112 centimeters squared would be our total lateral surface area. Again, we're not including um, the area of the base because it, it didn't want that. It just wants to paint the it just wants to paint the lateral surface green. Okay, and that takes us to the end of our lesson. Um, so there's a bunch of new formulas for us to to keep in mind. Uh, make sure that your notes are well organized so that way we can. Uh, maneuver through all of those different formulas uh, when working on a test.